Alright, this is Pliskin TCG, and today we're opening up the Pyrus Serpilius 3 pack yeah. from Evolutions. It has a Pyrus Serpilion. Sorry, my mouth, I'm having a face mask on. Uh, I forgot to take it off. <laughs> we're all vaccinated yeah. here. <laughs> we all got fine. the third dose. We're all good here. But I sometimes go into autopilot and forget it's on my face, even though it's on my face. Yeah, as we just came back in from getting a breath of fresh air outside. Yeah. A force of habit. Yeah, we we like to take precautions. Uh, uh, it's Pyrus Serpilion Ultra Mouthful Hydrus. Words. Ventus Hydrus and the new Pegatrix, which is kind of done in the old, the, the what is it, age? Uh, what was it Armored Alliance? Armored Alliance style. With yeah. just slight changes in paint. Okay. I don't know if there was a Relis in that set. I don't think so, but I could be Maybe wrong. Maybe there was. Maybe there wasn't. I can't remember. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Okay. I wasn't really We're paying attention the to Pegatrix. So, here we go. It was before we had the channel. I know that. No, we had the channel right around. Well, like towards the tail end. Yeah. Well, that's... But when that mold was... A thing. Yeah. So we got in around the fusions. Yeah, we did. We got into doing the channel around the fusions. It's only been up for, what, a year? And I'm glad it's grown this much in a year. I didn't expect it. I thought it was going to flop like my other channel. Only four subscribers. Yeah, we're very thankful for all the support. Four, yeah. This very was floored stubborn. by it. Man, this is Padding things were stubborn. Let me pop these out for a second. Okay, let me open well, up. Those other two came out easy. Yeah, they've always been easy. If you're gonna fucking put a double thing around it, you might as well put a piece of tape over those too. Because any kid could pop that out for a thief. Wow. Okay, so the legs fold backwards. Is that how the the Age of Arrows one was? Yeah, I think that was the um, I think it was the armored armor no, elite. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think so. Or it did this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that's pretty easy to pull. Let's see the Pegatrix. I'm having trouble finding the spot. It's being a little stubborn. Doesn't want to open. Did our five below ever get the mythics? No, it never did. That I know of. I'm gonna have to head out there one day. <laughs> Sorry, allergy problems. Let me turn the fan away from me. Yeah, that's probably a smart choice. Uh, it's an allergy attack. That's I think the first time we've coughed on camera. Yeah, I apologize. Uh, I'm wearing a face mask still, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll just wash and disinfect the face mask. Reusable one later. Yep. Later. Best thing to do. Uh, I'm iffy on rolling this thing compared to the old one. Because of the paint. No. No, 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 or no. Or is no. this something else? Phil, Phil. Ooh. This would break. One roll, break. Ooh. Oof. Especially up against metal. Yeah. Like grab that grab that dragonoid that's next. No, I'll grab to, this or one. the Colossus that's closer. Ooh. This thing joint will break right here. You can see that. This joint will break. It'll here. snap. Here, fold it up real quick and see if it's that flimsy folded up. I'm just curious. I'm gonna if it gets like any stability. If you can fold it up, it might yeah, be I'm difficult. A, um, I haven't folded a Pegatrix in a long time, but I did. It's still little. A little. But when it opens, there's a chance that that joint in between will snap and break when it opens against something. It wasn't that flimsy before, was it? No. There was a thicker joint piece there, so they downgraded it. 
Are they cutting corners to afford metal? That's what I'm thinking. Because they made these joints thicker on the older one right here. You see that joint? That'll snap easily. And then you're going to have to 3D print another one of these joints to put in here. If you have a 3D printer, which we don't have. Yeah, exactly. This plastic, too thin. That joint will snap. Look. Me just moving it around like that, lightly. Yeah. I'm not using this one. Uh, question. When we play, can I use the older Pegatrix as a substitute if I use that character? I mean, what tournaments do we have locally? They're dead anyways. Thanks to... Uh, Spin Master anyways here. No support. So. Let's take a look at this one. The Spartillion. The Spartillion's a thicker. Better. Yeah, can I hold him real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That okay. one can withstand. Okay, that's about the same level of plastic quality as my Ventus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This one has not changed. But there was a change in this joint. Where this joint is thinner than the original. Oof. So there's a dip there. Enough oh, yeah. about that. Uh, let's. I'm trying to fold this while we're talking. Yeah. Ugh. I don't want to criticize. Yeah, we it. don't mean to be negative so much lately. It's just we like to point out the positives as well as the negatives because we notice some things do, some things don't. Because if I roll that against another Bakugan, there's a chance that joint will break. And that bugs me. Uh, it, I already had a Bakugan can I say break this? On, on me when I was trying to combine it. It was the uh, the Aquas uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Insectra. Uh, here's, the translucent here's plastic the thing. on the wing. You're giving this to kids. So it's not like kids... Bakugan don't break. Uh, you're giving this to kids, and kids are destructive with plastics. Very destructive. If you're designing this game for my demographic, or Sean's demographic, or older, 16-year-olds or older... Yeah, and the job I work currently is a retail job. And working retail, you see lots of people come in there, including kids... Kids bring their toys with them. I've seen kids with Bakugan. They throw them around. Because they I try saw, to imitate the show. Where I, saw, I saw a kid throw a Montrapod at a wall. The Montrapod didn't break, of course. But um, that Pegatrix, I don't know... Oh, you like the look of the know, cards. Guys. Uh, ignoring about that, let's look at, pay attention to this so we don't get off topic. Ooh. Plus seven here? Whoa. Uh, no benefits Fire Fist. Okay, no big deal there. I don't care. Plus seven there is pretty good. Okay. Oh, this one gets the benefit of it. Okay, so plus, uh, seven here. Definitely good choice. This one, good choice on two so far. Fire! Great choice! Plus seven there. Again, pretty good. I have no complaints about this. This one entirely. The only complaint in the set is just the joint in this. Yeah, and for all we know, it's a fluke. I feel it isn't, but for all we know, it is. So, just be warned. Until I get another one another uh, Pegatrix and another element to see if that joint exists yeah. in this, uh, this or even type if of material. It, or even if it's the same one again in another pack, because you know how they love redoing yeah, yeah, yeah. the same things over and over. Give me a second to uh, compare cores, because I'm trying to get them all matched up real fast. Okay. Uh... I'm going to show one of these three cores as well, but 
uh, either one I choose for Fire Fist is the same, so it don't matter. Uh, it's plus, what is it, 250 B power plus 3 damage, good choice there. Yeah. Either one would work. Plus 300 B power, really good. This would be like a power build deck if with the cores. Yeah. This is for the Relish Pack of Tricks. Good choices there. Um, I don't need to show that these are the same cores, but I'm just showing for reference. Plus 600, plus one of these to either one of them, and it's still pretty good. Magic Shield, plus 600. That would make it uh, 14, if I'm remembering correctly. 14, if my math's correct. But, yeah. and then plus... 20, this is like a really good power build one that oh, you yeah. would use with a Relis power. Yeah. Okay. Now we're getting to the one that it only has. Oh, good choices everywhere except for the minus one on its one damage already. Yeah. That's the sucky part about that one. Yeah, that core will need to be swapped out. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's not bad, but you won't get any damage. So you're gonna have to add damage buffers with like Pyrus and stuff, or Ventus. There's some Ventus damage buffers, you know, or some Chaos ones, depending on however you build it. Yeah, good choices there still. The only complaint is the minus one on a one. <laughs> if it was a minus one on a two, there wouldn't be no issue there. Yeah. You just won't be able to do any damage. But if you were kind of playing a toy battle game using these little things, you'd definitely win. Yeah. Because they do it based on power. They don't do it based on damage. Yep, that's true. Because for a while, the toy battling game was using these. Yeah. I missed that. That was actually fun. It made it more challenging than that. I like the extra challenge of the pro game where it adds the cards to the mix. Yeah. But enough about that. I felt like that toy battling game was an easy way to get kids involved in the pro battling game later. Yeah. I know people wanted the gay cards for nostalgia reasons. Yada yeah. yada. Yeah, I'll admit I was even one of them, but I don't like how they went about it. But that was the only way they could go about it. And remember, kids can't... Uh, they have terrible hand-eye coordination. They can't roll onto one of those. I rolled one on the video for once. Hey. Not The not, good luck of the new map. Yeah. It's easier to roll on a map than it is on one of those legacy arenas. Oh, God. That thing you would not roll right. It kept going sideways, left, right. That fan? Yeah. Oof. I call that thing a car sunshade. Uh, that's, that's what it is. It's, it's a, a car, car sunshade. Sh sh Don't forget, in modern times, they when they changed it from car sunshade, they changed it to fan. Yeah. Because you get those at an Earth Day fairs. Yes. <laughs> As fans. <laughs> but they're smaller in size. They're like little frisbees. Yeah. Yeah. Enough about Earth Day Fairs. I haven't been to one in many years, but nonetheless. Yeah, if for no other reason than COVID. No, even before COVID, because it was all the way downtown. Didn't want to go all the way downtown. Then they changed it to the parks near where I lived. Still didn't want to go to it. Because at the point, it was a moot point because they weren't giving out anything good anymore. Oh. The whole point of going to the Earth Day Fair was to get free pens and pencils that I wouldn't have to spend money on. They stopped doing that, so I stopped going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Enough about uh, that. Uh, all right. <laughs> anyway, on that note, this has been Pliskin TCG. We'll have links to our social medias down below. As always, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to never miss out on one of our videos, feel free to hit the little bell icon so you can never miss out on one of our videos, whether it be Bakugan or otherwise. And this is, and we'll see you in the next one.